Hi friends! We are going to do some more story problems today, but we are going to use a special tool. So, you're going to need your hopper that you made last week, and you're going to need your number line that you made last week, okay? And we are going to use these tools to solve some story problems. So, take a minute, pause the video, go grab your tools, and when you're ready, you can push play and we can continue. So, you'll notice that my number line is like the one we have at school, but it's the same thing. You can still use the numbers on your strip to solve the problems, okay? And like the other videos with the story problems, um, listen to the story first, pause the video, and try using the number line to solve it and see if the way that you solved it matches the way I solve it after pushing play, okay? So, are you ready? Today, we are going to learn a new way to solve story problems. And we are going to use a number line. Do you see that number line on my page? It has the numbers in a line, just like Hopper's number line. So, here we go. Here's the first story. Sarah saw two big dogs and three little dogs in the park. How many dogs did she see? Okay, I'll read it one more time. Sarah saw two big dogs and three little dogs in the park. How many dogs did Sarah see? Okay. Now, we haven't ever used a number line to solve a story like this, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the first part, it said, Sarah saw two big dogs. So Hopper, are you ready? I'm gonna put Hopper right on the number two. Cause that shows how many little dogs, oh no, big dogs she saw. Then the story says, and three, little dogs. Okay, now she saw three little dogs. So that means I'm going to use Hopper to do three hops. It doesn't mean I'm going to put him on the three. It means I'm going to do three hops. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. He did three hops and he landed on the five. That means she, Sarah saw five dogs all together. Started on that, that two, and then we did three jumps. One, two, three. Okay, ready for the next one? Okay, Hopper, let's go back. We're gonna start a new story problem. It said, Max saw seven cats. Okay, two of the cats ran away. Oh. How many cats were left? Okay, I'll read it one more time. Max saw seven cats. Two of the cats ran away. How many cats were left? Now this one's different because we're not putting two numbers together. We're taking them apart. So first Max had, he saw seven cats. So I'm gonna put Hopper right on that seven. And two of the cats ran away. Okay, that means my numbers are gonna get smaller. So I'm gonna move him back two jumps. One, two. He landed on five. There must be five cats left over. Okay, I have one more for us to work on. Marco's dog had puppies last week. Oh. Four of them are white and five are brown. How many new puppies are there? Okay, let's read it again. Marco's dog had puppies last week. Four of them are white and five are brown. How many new puppies are there? Okay, so it said, Four of them are white. So I'm gonna put Hopper on the number four. Okay. 
then it said five are brown. So I'm going to help Hopper jump five jumps. Doesn't mean I'm going to move him up to the five. It means we're going to do five jumps. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Four and five jumps makes nine. Marco must have had nine puppies. Okay. So I hope you were brave and tried out solving these story problems with your number line. Next time I see you, we'll be doing more story problems, okay? Happy hopping.